Hello? Where am I? What is this? I'm getting real sick of this teleportation technology. Oh, hey, Knuckles. I see you're joining the party this year. What party? There's no one else here. This must be a party for you? Uh, this is a takeover, and that was very rude. The people out there have requested that we take over Sonic's Twitter for their entertainment. That sounds like a trick. You expect me to believe that Sonic would really allow... Well, hey, guys. What? Glad you could make it this year, Knuckles. These takeovers needed a little more rigidness to them. <laughs> Can someone please just explain what's going on here? Hey, everyone. Oh, hey, Tails. We were just about to explain to Knuckles what a Twitter takeover is. Oh, allow me to help. This is a place where we allow the audience out there to ask us anything they want, like our favorite foods, our hopes and dreams, etc. So they ask and the four of us answer. You mean the five of us? Shadow? You wouldn't think about doing one of these without me, would you? Uh, it's true. Shadow does get a lot of questions every year. I mean, not as many as me, of course, but still pretty commendable. Just because you purposely skip over my questions doesn't mean they're not there. Uh, anyway, I think we're just waiting on one more guest now. Oh, uh, really? I thought this was everyone? Hi! Uh, <laughs> Amy! <laughs> Surprised? I was tired of sitting on the other side of the screen while you boys had all the fun. Thanks for inviting me, Tails. <laughs> Tails? <laughs> no problem, Amy. Uh, okay, Sonic, now we can get started. Well, all right then. You know the drill out there, everyone. Get your questions ready and send them over to us with the hashtag AskShadow. With the hashtag AskSonic. Sonic! That's a weird way to pronounce now. Shadow. Come That's on, guys. <laughs> We've gone over this before. Consistency is key. Yes, and you consistently annoy me, you little blue rodent. Can we just start answering questions already? That's a great idea, Knuckles. We've got a lot of excited fans out there, and we don't want to let them down. Well, in that case, let's get started. Remember to use the hashtag AskSonic and send us your questions in the next few hours, and you might get a response. Until then, see, see you soon. soon! At Budmin Abistado asks... For everyone, what is your favorite Chaos Emerald color? Well, it's gotta be blue for me. Yellow's my favorite. I'm partial to purple. It reminds me of lavender. The white one's neat, I suppose. Uh, could also lean yellow, though the green is lovely. Yeah, it depends on the day, really. And, and mine's, mine's red. red. Um, clearly, we can't both like the same color emerald. Arm wrestle for it? Uh, no. Okay, okay. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 963. Closest guest, without going over, wins. 317. 317. That was the exact number I was thinking of. How in the world would you choose 317? There's no reason for you to have said that. I mean, take it back. Let me win. The red emerald is my favorite, not yours. Go like cyan or something. Just lay off, Knuckles. You couldn't just let me have this. You just had to guess the same number as me, and for what? So you could have the best color emerald as your favorite? Newsflash, the emerald is red. Just like me. You're pink, not red. It doesn't make sense. Just let me have it. Knuckles, absolutely not. I get red. I'm the girl. Uh, look, I don't care. I'm you the one that guards the chaos else. emeralds. Hello. Okay. So I should have my favorite emerald, especially no. the one that's the color um, of me. Okay, uh, while we um solve this dilemma... Thank you, at Pubmim Abastado, for the question. <laughs> Guys? Mm, let's see here. This question is from Cybershell. Dear Knuckles, how do you type with boxing gloves on? <laughs> oh, quite the question for you here, Knuckles. Huh. After all these years of knowing one another, I actually never thought about this. Is typing on a keyboard difficult? No. I'm skilled in everything I set my mind to. Yeah, so what do you have to do then? Angle your mitts or something? Well, maybe use his speech-to-text. It's gotten more reliable over the years. I type with my spikes. I've gotten very good at it. Oh, yeah? What's your words per minute? 33. Oh, that is oh, wow. <laughs> wow. All right, all right, I see you, Knuckles. I'm impressed. Wait, how many keyboards have you destroyed typing with those spikes of yours? 
who cares? Uh, well, that uh, makes sense. Uh, 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 thanks for the question. Um, what was his name? Lore Master? Uh, Cyber Shell. Uh, Cyber Shell. Next question comes from at Tofat Geo. Hey, Eggman, were you always bald? Huh? <laughs> Flattered to hear people are checking me out. <laughs> Why would you assume this person was checking you out? Well, they noticed my bald head, did they not? My natural beauty is simply eye-catching, I, I understand. <laughs> Answer the question. Do you shave your head or not? I, am. Um... I'm bald, yes, but uh, I used to have a full head of hair. <laughs> Luxurious, even. The finest hair you'd ever seen. <laughs> yes, it was glorious. I don't suppose you have any photos of this hair you had? Uh, no, no, not on me, but um, perhaps a talented artist could whip up a portrayal of my old hair for me. <laughs> uh, begging for fan art now? Is that how low we're going, Eggman? Oh, 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 and uh, don't forget to draw my man bun while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> Thanks for the question, Top Hat Geo. System 9509 asks, Sonic, if you ended up in cyberspace and your friends had to rescue you, what would your memory tokens look like? Huh. Let's see. Well, yours were wrenches because you're a brilliant engineer, Tails. Amy's were hearts because well, she has a heart of gold. Knuckles were medals for some reason. It's because I'm the strongest and can kick your skinny butt any day. I think yours would be a crown to match your big ego. Hey, now, cut that out, you two. I think Sonic's would be a flicky to represent all the little creatures he's saved throughout his life. I think yours would also be a medal, but for second place, because you're always behind me. Wait, what place is my medal, then? Oh, okay, fine. Sonic would get a bronze medal. Good. I like that. Sonic's memory token would be a little bug, because you're a little pest and you're always messing with my creations. Well, I think it'd be a star. Not only are you a star in all of our eyes, but you inspire all of us to reach for the stars in everything we do. Wow, that was really sweet, Tails. I was just going to say a chili dog or something. Well, hopefully we'll never have to find out the real answer. Thanks for the question, System 9509. <laughs> this question comes from Bun Bun Billion. Dear Dr. Eggman, can you please show these filthy rodents your super form and eviscerate them from this world? Thank you from the number one Sonic hater. <sighs> Eggman doesn't have a super form. Hey, hey, don't you speak for me. You know nothing. Really? If you were able to go super, you absolutely would have used that against us by now. Mm hmm, that's true. Sonic's right. Shut it! Just waiting for the right time to strike, that's all. Oh, yeah? What do you look like when you go super? I bet his mustache bends up and glows gold. <laughs> he soars around the sky shooting eggs from his fingers, I'm sure. You insufferable lot dare belittle me! <laughs> Are those the seven chaos emeralds? Ah! He's actually going super! Everyone get down! He's... He's throwing eggs from his sleeves. How is he flying? Is he attached to a rope? <laughs> we better calm him down. Thanks for the question, at Bun Bun Billion. His mustache is glowing. He's got an LED strip on his face. Let's see. This question is from at Brian Hedgehog. Ugh, not another hedgehog. To Shadow and Sonic, do you hate each other? Okay, come on now. Shadow doesn't hate Sonic, uh, right? Yeah, what do you say, Shadow? Do you hate me? Hmm. Well, let's see. Your methods are usually annoying. Your jokes fall flat. Your skills lack discipline. You constantly see the best in people to your own detriment. And you have terrible taste in footwear. But no, I don't hate you. You hear that, Sonic? Shadow doesn't hate you. Wait, but but he said so many mean things. So... I heard he doesn't hate you. Oh, that's wonderful to hear, Shadow. Takes a brave man to admit you don't hate someone. You have my respect, Shadow. Guys, but clearly... But... Happy to have settled that once and for all. Thanks for the question, Brian Hedgehog. 
At Sonic Nuck Real asks, what's your favorite Sonic game? Asking for a friend. Sonic game? What is this person even talking about? Oh, you haven't heard of a Sonic game? Folks around the world hear of our adventures and make plenty of media about them. Some just happen to be games. Oh, I've played a couple of them. I'm not very good at it, but my favorite is Sonic Heroes. Shadow the Hedgehog for me. Yeah, shocker. I'm partial to Sonic Frontiers. I think a lot of people will enjoy that adventure. Are there any games about me? Where's my game? Well, um, there's Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, if you want to count that. Mean Bean? I mean, a game about my mean beans? <laughs> Bollocks. I demand a new game. One where I get a, a sword. A, a big sword. And I crush any foe that dares step in my path with my big sword. Oh, uh, and nunchucks. Uh, yeah, nunchucks to compliment my big sword. Uh, uh, then I will take the big sword. Okay, will, we... okay, okay. I'm sure every game developer's getting right on that, Iggy. <sighs> for now, thanks so much for the question, at Sonic Nuck Reel. Re uh, oh. This question comes from at Bull Ram. Knuckles, do you ever get bored of guarding the Master Emerald? If you do, how do you entertain yourself? Hmm. I have found myself restless lately, but my resolve to guard the Master Emerald is absolute. I do not falter in my mission. Yeah, but you gotta get bored, right? I mean, do you play any games, tic-tac-toe, I spy? Maybe, uh, go for a walk and leave the emerald unguarded, huh? No, it is always under my watch. However, I have been collecting rocks that look like animals. I have a couple with me. <gasps> oh my gosh, wait, this is actually cool. This rock looks like a bird. <laughs> oh, look at this one. It's a little pig. What's this one? A, a slice of pizza? That's a rabbit. Yeah, I don't get this. Keep your rocks. I guess you don't want to see the best rock I found. Oh, that's a tiny rock in the shape of a horse. The beauty of that rock. It's enough to bring a tear to my eye. I'm glad I could exist purely so I could see that rock. Can I have it? No. Ah, now I gotta steal the Master Emerald and that tiny rock horse. Curse you, Knuckles! You watch what you say, Egghead. Well, calm down, guys. Calm down. And uh, thanks for the question, at Bull Ram. This one seems to be for Eggman from Bobo76 Lan. To the esteemed Dr. Eggman, how did you survive so long in cyberspace? I was wondering this myself. You were trapped in one area for a long time. If you all must know my secrets, I pack a lunch before any evil scheme. This time there was a bologna on rye, a juice box, a baby carrots, and one of those irresistible galaxy brownies. What are you, three years old? What kind of lunch is that? Don't give me any lip shadow. I survived for days on baby carrots. That meal had the perfect amount of sustenance to fuel my powerful mind. Oh, are you sure you didn't pack a toy with that happy meal? <laughs> Get him, Tails. Your mom didn't leave a note in there, too, did she? Leave my mom out of this! What happened when you ran out of baby carrots? Did you switch to apple slices? No. <laughs> oh. This is the last time I tell any of you any secrets. Don't ask any questions again, Bobo 76 Lan. Alrighty, at Evoltex asks to Amy, what's your favorite dessert? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> I do love sweets. I'm partial mm -hmm. to mint-flavored desserts, like peppermint cookies. I enjoy a good chocolate egg myself. <laughs> um, at Ebal Tex was asking me here. Okay, I would have to say... Oh, ice cream sundaes for me. <laughs> I have a lot of memories enjoying those. Mm. Tiramisu on a cold night with a warm coffee. There's no better combination. Um, guys, I th Has everyone ever had those cotton candy grapes? Oh, those are outstanding. No, I don't think I've had those. <gasps> oh, have you ever had those tiny... Strawberry shortcake! <sighs> Strawberry shortcake. That is my favorite dessert. Oh, that's a good one. It's a respectable answer. Gotta say, that's delicious. Mmm, great choice. Uh, boys, thank you for your question at Evoltex. Strawberry shortcake sucks! On the down low, though, says, 
Hey gang, Hype Guy here. Last year, you all handed me a crazy roast that I never even got to hear. So, could I get an apology? A roast? I remember every roast I've ever given, and none of them were to this games cage fellow. Yeah, I don't remember this being a thing, but, uh, sorry. I was in a really dark place, and I'm learning from my actions and moving forward and growing and... What else do people normally say in these apology videos? Is this where I fake cry now? Wait, Games Cage? I was watching his stream the other day, and he said some pretty rude things about Tails. Wait, what? What did I do? Hey, no one messes with our fox boy. Yeah, that's pretty messed up. Only I'm allowed to be mean to these little punks. You have strayed, have strayed from, from the, the path. path. The down. Whoa. Did you hear that? That was weird. Wh who was that? You've really done it now, Fidel. Well, that was weird. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Anyway, thanks for the question on the down low, though. I'm sorry for whatever I did, Fidel. I hope you can forgive me. Please. This question's from at Arcmantic. How often do you gotta replace your gloves or clean them? That white has to be hard to keep looking fresh like they always do. Oh, uh, each person's hands stay pristine thanks to the special polymer I sprayed on everyone's gloves. You just can't stop inventing. I must admit, it's worked wonders. Mine have stayed spick and span. Eh? I want some of that polymer. My gloves get filthy repairing so many of my bad nicks. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Oh, Knuckles, you told me to remind you about your dentist appointment later this evening. Oh, shoot. Thank you, Amy. I have the hardest time remembering. You could try writing it down on your hand. I have a pen. That's a great idea. Let's see. Dentist appointment to na... Oh, wait. It's not writing. Tails, your polymer. Oh, no, it's too good. Pen won't even mark on your unsilly gloves. Aw, oh, jeez. Now I'll never remember. I literally just reminded you. Oh, well. Guess I'll miss the appointment and answer more questions here. Thanks, Ed Arcmantic. This question comes from, this is my password, at R8YM1X. Who can give off the best voice impression of Eggman in the group? <laughs> oh, jeez, here we go. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Get a load of this. No way. I can't believe this. Uh, all systems, full power. You know what they say, the more the merrier. What the heck? You guys know a lot of Eggman quotes. Yeah, well, we do fight him a lot. I'm a big egg! Yada, yada, yada. Hey, now, I never said that. <laughs> I don't know. That might be the best impression I've ever heard. Thanks for the question, Nat. Oh, ra Rady Mix exclamation point? <laughs> this question is from Real Shadow Fan Zero One. Shadow, will you marry me? Ooh. Don't be so immature. This person's pouring out their heart for Shadow. Show a little bit of sympathy to them and... I'll marry them. <gasps> I'll marry real Shadow Fan Zero One. Are, are, are you serious? But I have a strict set of rules. Real Shadow Fan Zero One, if you're up to the task, I will propose. What tasks? I iron my linens every night. I refuse to go to bed in a wrinkled bedsheet. Anyone who wants to be my partner must be able to assist. Okay, a bit peculiar, but I can understand. Task number two. My partner must cook food as they did on the Ark. The recipes must be exact. Seems Shadow loves his food dried and stale. And what's task number three? I have a 20-step skincare routine keeping me young and youthful. If a potential suitor can't see the value in proper facial hygiene, they must formally step aside. Well, the sun is our greatest enemy in the fight for radiant skin. Real Shadow Fan Zero One, if these rules don't deter you, meet me at the Ferris Wheel. I will be ready with a ring and a bouquet of lavender. Thank you for your question. Yeah, uh, thanks. Real Shadow Fan Zero One. This question's from at 
Adgley Kelly. Who would win in a race between Sonic and Shadow? Obviously me. Show me then, fool. A race? Now? I don't know if it's the proper time. <laughs> Nonsense. On go. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, we're back. Who won? Spill it, egghead. Who was the fastest? Ahem. Ahem. I said on go, but you both left on three. Oh. Oh, that's true. Well, look at that. It seems like you both lost. We could at least call it a tie. Yeah. No, no, you both lost. Sorry about it. Thanks for your question, Algy Kelly. At Sir Char 59632843 asks, To Shadow, why do you eat the coffee beans straight? The water dilutes the flavor. I want coffee, not coffee-flavored water. But eating just the beans, though? Wouldn't it be crunchy? The best things in life have a crunch. How do you eat them? Like popcorn or...? With a spoon, you simpletons. I don't understand how this is so confusing for all of you. Shadow, you're just one in a million. The ultimate life form, some would say. And don't you forget it. Thanks for the question, at Sir Char, 59632843. This question comes from at Ultim 8 Schisselfin. Hi, everyone. Hope you're all doing well, especially the ultimate life form himself, Shadow. You are my favorite. Okay. My question for everyone is, what song is currently stuck in your head? Oh, that's a good one. I've personally been dipping my toes into the world of acapella. I might be a bit biased here, but Vandalized by 1OK Rock is an earworm. You know, I really like the musician who played that crystal flute. Dancing and playing the flute at the same time is an admirable skill. I've been drawn to lullabies lately. Can't figure out why, though. It's me. Hi. I'm, I'm the, the problem, problem, it's me. me. Shadow, do, do you... <gasps> Are you a Swifty? What have I done? Shadow loves Tay Tay. I admit, she's made remarkable country albums. He's been, he's been a Swifty since day one? Okay, I'm gonna need a minute to digest this. Thanks for the question, at Ultimate Shissel fan. It's just so catchy. Uh, I shouldn't have joined in. We can listen to the whole album together. Ah, this is perfect. <laughs> <sighs> Question here from at Alk Nazca. Guys, what is your favorite hobby in your free time? Hmm. Well, I don't do much besides guard the Master Emerald. Uh, sometimes I'll draw a stick figure war in the dirt. I like to read my friend's fortunes. Fortune card reading has been especially relaxing for me. Until a friend gets a bad reading. Hmm. Besides working on my Tales Tube videos, I've been busy in my workshop. I'm working on a device that can untangle any wire. My greatest annoyance. Ooh, I could use a device like that, too. Maybe I should patent it first. Hey! You snooze, you lose, Fox. I just run around. I'm volunteering at the local soup kitchen. I've been thinking a lot lately about what Maria would have wanted. Oh, Shadow, that's so sweet. I haven't been there in a few days. They've had some, uh, choice words about my cooking. Ah, uh, well, at least you're learning. Thanks for the question, at Alpmazka. Rel SG14 says, Hey, all, can any of you translate what this says? Oh, yeah. That's the ancient tablet I fished out with Big the other day. I didn't actually read it. I had, like, 300 fishing coins to burn through. According to all known laws of aviation... What? You can read that? Oh, oh, I can read it too. There is no way a hedgehog should be able to run fast. You can't read it, Shadow? The next line says, Its quills are too short to get its fat little body off the ground. I have no clue what any of you are talking about. Hey, seems like we've got that cyberspace reading prowess. Let's see. The hedgehog, of course, runs fast anyway, because hedgehogs don't care what humans think is impossible. I like this story. Wow, it just keeps going. We're done. I don't want to be here all day. Thanks for the question, Rel Sig 14 J.K. Argic asks, Have any of you tried speedrunning? It's where you complete games really fast, and I think it'd be great for Sonic. 
I mean, speedrunning is kind of all I do. <laughs> Want to test that? I happen to have the Miles Electric on me loaded up with games. Give me that. You're on. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Dodge that. Okay. Oh, yep. There. There we go. Through that wall. Oh, clip through the floor. And. and that... Wait. He's really doing this? Oh, that's our Sonic. Look at him go. Yeah. Oh, so close. Oh. Yep. Uh, I didn't actually think he could pull this off, but he's a natural. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And done. Whew. Well, look at that. You actually pulled off a successful speed run. Wait. Wait. Are we just on the title screen? Sonic, were you just playing the title screen? Uh, <laughs> and here I was getting all excited. Curse you, Sonic! Look, maybe uh, speed running isn't actually for me, but thanks for the question, J.K. Argic. <sighs> to believe I actually had faith in you. <sighs> this question comes from the Emu Emmy. What do you like about Sonic? Oh, wow. That's such a hard question to answer. Probably because there's not much to like. What? N no! His flaws are more evident than his redeeming qualities. I get it. That's not at all what I meant. It can be hard to compliment people. I get it, but everyone deserves something nice now and again. <laughs> well said, Knuckles. Hey, listen. Sonic is strong. He's thoughtful, intelligent, and always puts the people closest to him first. I'm a better person having met Sonic, and I mean it. Who couldn't love a hedgehog like that? Oh, love, you say? Like! I said like, Tails! Amy... That's incredibly sweet. Thank you. Now, what were the rest of you saying? You're, uh, pretty nice, I guess. Well, my plans are always in shambles because of you, which is consistent, I suppose. You're the best thorn in my side I could ask for. See, now, was that so hard? Thanks for the question, at the Emu Emmy. At Chrono Crump comes to us with a question. To whoever's willing to answer, what's the coolest thing Sonic has ever done? <laughs> wow, there's too many things to name. I was pretty happy when he replaced the water filter in the office fridge. You noticed that too? The water was too minerally for my liking before the filter change. Honestly, the water did taste delicious after that. But I mean, I don't want to say that was the coolest thing Sonic's done. I'll say it. Hey! I've done cooler things than change a water filter. You got an example? Um, I went supersonic and saved Station Square, stopped multiple death eggs, rescued my friends from a collection of islands, hello? I'm gonna have to go with the water filter change, too. Amy! It was a good deed. It needed to be done. Thanks for the question, at Chronicromp. I, for one, loved this exchange. Oh, shut it, you. At Pizza Headness Scar asks, question to everyone, what is the meaning of life? <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get profound here. Um, huh. I think, I think life is about finding someone you love, someone you connect with, and chasing both of your dreams together in earnest. Yeah, that's it. To me, life's all about utilizing what you've got to make the world around you a happier, more fulfilling place. I don't know, just spitball in here. I believe an accomplished life is making mistakes, growing, and being sure they don't happen again, for your own sake, and for the people of the planet. Whoa. Everyone's so prepared for this question. Just, uh, do your best and, uh, have fun. <laughs> yeah. Balder Dash. Life is mine to control, mine to embrace, and your collective allegiance to the Eggman Empire will be the smartest decision any of you simpletons ever make. No, no, no. Life's about freedom. Live true to yourself, live for no one else, and live to make yourself proud. Thank you for the question, at Pizza Head NASCAR. Oh, I'm never gonna get that. Ah. Oh, here we go. At who you minly live, 040 asks, We've heard some of your favorite animes, but what are the favorite animes of the ones you haven't answered yet? Incidentally, Knuckles, are you able to watch anime on Angel Island? Is there Wi-Fi? No, there's no Wi-Fi. 
But I've been watching that show where a guy takes enemies down with one punch. <laughs> uh, Cream and Vanilla have a big TV, so I go over there. I respect you leaving the island to watch anime. I keep re-watching this anime where a group of friends turn into Zodiac animals. It reminds me of when the child transform. Well, I've been watching this killer show where this little dweeb turns into a bunch of chainsaws and hunts down enemies. That sounds awesome. The show's left me so inspired. So be prepared, Sonic. I'll have a chainsaw badnik coming your way. Uh, I'll stop you like I always do. Oh, no, you won't. Maybe you're not understanding. This badnik will be covered in chainsaws. Oh, no, no, I get it. I'll still take it down. You could stand to be a bit more creative, Eggman. You don't get it! There'll be so many chainsaws covered in them! Yeah. Thanks for the question at... Huyman Leo 404 Tales. I see what you're going through. Right? At Saturn Munchies asks, which are the cutest? Coco, Chow, Wisps, or Flickies? Um, clearly the Chow are the cutest. Oh, they're just so happy in their little gardens, playing trumpet and drawing pictures. <laughs> they're so precious. I don't know. The wisps are up there for me. They can grant me some pretty cool powers. Come on now, the Coco are great. They're hardy and tough on the outside, just like me. I don't know about these Cocos you speak of, but nothing compares to the dark chow I've been raising. I plan on protecting that chow with my life. Eh, keep your chow and wisps or whatever. With Flicky's powering my badnik army, <laughs> I'm unstoppable. Yeah, except, you know, when I do stop you. Yeah, okay, the chow are pretty cute. Ah, then it's settled. Three for chow. They win. Now, wait a second. I could root for the Flickies. They remind me of home. You can find them everywhere. Oh. But I mean, I still gotta go with the chow. Four for chow. They win! And there you have it, Saturn Munchies. Thanks for the hearty debate. My chow would kick the snot out of a wisp. Yeah, probably. At Quick Egg 45 asks, is cereal a soup? What? I think cereal is cereal and soup is soup. But both are liquid-based meals with chunks of food floating in them. That's a fair point, young fox, but consider this. Soup is traditionally warmed up, while cereal is best enjoyed with cold milk. I personally eat cereal dry. Hmm. I'm with Sonic on this one, but I admit it's comparing apples to oranges. On the topic of fruit, has anyone seen my grapes? I brought them in a little baggie. Are you sure you haven't already eaten them and forgot? Of course not! I can never be so forgetful. Uh, Knuckles, I can literally see the skin of a grape stuck between your teeth. Here, Knuckles, you can use my emergency floss to get that out. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, th th thanks, Amy. We better get Knuckles some more grapes. In the meantime, thanks for the question, at Quick Eggs 45 Oh, an easy one. This is from at Popcorn NS Oda 247 Amy, do you ever visit Little Planet when it reappears? Seems like a nice place to relax. Oh, what a good question. Yes, I do. But it's been a minute since I visited recently. Little Planet only appears for one month out of the year, so it's tough to plan a trip. What do you tend to do when you visit? Oh, uh, camping in Palm Tree Panic, sightseeing at Stardust Speedway, go spelunking in Quartz Quadrant. Oh, it's a ton of fun to visit. Spelunking in Quartz Quadrant? Yeah, I bring home some gems to make jewelry out of. I made the most adorable earrings last time I visited. That sounds awesome, Amy. We'll have to tag along next time. Yes, please. I want to go. Count me in. You're all more than welcome to visit with me. <laughs> Yay. I think I'll also take you all up on this offer. I could use a delightful vacation myself. Oh, hi. Um, actually, you probably shouldn't come. No. Yeah, that's fair. Well, thanks for the question. At Popcorn and Soda 24-7. Oh, that's how it goes, what's that? See. Okay. Hey, and that's a wrap. Wow, there were so many questions. Oh, I feel bad we didn't get to everyone. Well, don't feel bad, Amy. We did our best, and I had a lot of fun seeing all of the creative questions. Thanks for sending so many in, everyone. You know, no one even asked what's underneath these gloves. I don't know how to say this, but... I don't think anyone cares. Another year, another successful infiltration of Sonic's Twitter. I'm learning more and more about the ins and outs of this place. 
One step closer to taking you down, Sonic. Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you so much, everyone. This was a really great year, thanks to all of you. And I guess we'll see you all next time Wait! On... Huh? What's wrong? Our tradition! What tradition, Tails? Oh, oh yeah, that is right. completely forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. Well, better late than never. Everyone ready? One, two, three. Why is this happening? I don't know, but I love it. Hey, Macarena! Hey, Macarena! I'm surrounded by lunatics. Hey, Macarena! Um, I... Yay! Thanks, everyone! Thanks again for inviting me. This was so much fun! I'll see you all next time, whether you like it or not. And with that said, until next time... See you, see you later! later. See you later. Oh, and if a Twitter destroys itself, I'll remember you all.